G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, today we're going to look at a, another product from Banggood. And as we're coming up towards Christmas, I thought, let's review something that maybe the whole family could enjoy. Uh, could, make, could make a great gift. So I've steered away from the tooling and the measuring equipment and the welders and the inserts. And today we've got a, <laughs> something I'm really looking forward to opening up. It's a, a Stirling engine, a little model engine of the Stirling operating principle. And there's quite a few really nice little Stirling engines being made in China and coming out of China these days. And I presume this one is also made in China. And Banggood have got, you know, quite a number on their site, all sorts of complexities and prices. This is a bit more upmarket than some, but it's also, I think, one of the more interesting ones because it's got a, a beam, a beam type action. It's actually called uh, Tarot Enlarged Alloy Sterling Engine Hot Air Model Educational Science and Discovery Toys. So it's a toy. It's a toy for big boys and the little boys would probably like it too. And maybe even women, who knows. Technically they're very interesting Sterling engines. Um, they use a thermal differential to operate. They're actually technically called an external combustion engine. So anyway, let's get it open. This is actually a bit larger than some of them. And yeah, it's a real desktop model, this one. Um, I did make a Sterling engine years ago and it never got it running properly. Uh, it was so frustrating, so down the track when I get time I'm going to make some more flame liquors and sterlings and have a go at them. And Until that we'll just have to go for something that's, well I don't know if it's all assembled or what, but anyway let's open this mother up and see what's in here. It's been well wrapped, I was a bit nervous, I thought gee I hope this doesn't get damaged because they're fairly delicate. And it took seven days to come here from China, which is remarkable, I thought. And I mean, we didn't get any special preferential treatment or anything. It's just all the stuff that's reviewed goes through the normal postal service. Just gets, the order gets put in and it just gets handled like any other person. And here it is. Oh, yes. Once, good, once again, it's bang good. Best bang for your buck. And yeah, they're good. Very good. I'll we'll get rid of this. It's actually fairly, fairly weighty. This little box. But, you know. So here we go. Seems to have survived the trip without getting too mangled. I hope it's all good. I hope it's all good. All right. I don't normally do unboxings like this, but in this case, it's uh, relevant, I think, because I want to see how it's all packed. Let me open this thing. Oh, I see. Here. All right, now I'm with you. Tarot. Made in China. Ooh, wow, this is quite big. Wow, the guy said it was big. <laughs> I didn't expect it was going to be this big. It's a, yeah, it's a fair hunk of, it's a fair, fair lump of machinery. And it looks like it's all ready to go. Wow. Wow, that's bigger than I expected. Yeah. Because my contact said, oh, we have got smaller ones. But he said, I'll send you this one anyway. You've asked for it, so I'll send it. But he said, we do have smaller ones. Wow, this is uh, this is some big sort of engine. Oh, this should really be good. It's pretty well wrapped. I was worried about the sort of beam. I thought that that beam doesn't get mangled. It's got a long way to come. Wow, look at the size of this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. It's a pretty looking thing, I've got it. I mean, look at that. Wow. I'll get something to 
clean to stand it. I don't want to put it on this dirty old bench top. Wow, looking good. I'm coming a bit closer too. That is really nice. It's got little oilers here that actually are legit. Oh, they look like legit oilers. They got holes in them. No instruction this time. They've got. Yeah. All the ball races. Wow. Gee, everything looks to be really nicely made. Turn it around this way. Wow. Cool. This is cool. Yeah, yeah look at that. Great. Really nice. Yeah, everything's... That's sort of self-aligning. See, it's all put together with little Allen headed bolts. I oh, had a bolt there. Beautifully made. Really nice. Wow. Oh, huh. how does that look on the coffee table going? Would that be awesome? Here's a little burner. It's got a cap on it. A little vent hole, so I presume the top must come out. We'll have a look. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Got it. It's just a tight fit. Oh, it's even. Mm -mm. It's even a little O-ring around the edge here. Quite a good length of wick. So I suppose we've got to say, ask ourselves, does it go? Well, it's a pretty hot day. I hope it does run in this sort of temperature. We're over, well over 30. 32 at the moment in the shed, so I'll get some metho and some matches. Now we're right. Now we've got right. We were right. Just going to get the burner in the right spot. As I said, it's a pretty hot day today. These run best in cool weather. And she's getting some speed up now. Either way. Oh, how cool is that? There's no run out at all. Uh -huh. So it needs that to be pretty hot. Right, I'll turn it around. See it operating from the other side.
Now yeah, we're right. Just got to get it up. More of a spin. I don't know if I should oil in that piston or not. If there's no instructions on this. I put oil in there. Which I think was a good idea. It's a bit low to oil stuff that get my carbon up and gum up the work. Uh, maybe I think just leave it as it is. So it's doing pretty it's doing pretty well running in this sort of heat. It's about 34 degrees in the shed now. Well outside it's probably a bit hotter in the shed. So certainly no problem for it running. I like these motors when they run as slow as you can get them to go, you know. Just ticking over. Beautifully made. It's beautifully counterbalanced as well. Well, there you have it. What a great little machine, eh? This is probably one of the best little sterling engines I've seen for this sort of money. It's got everything I like about sterling engines going for it. And I mean, Christmas coming up. I put the video up thinking it could be the ideal gift for big kids and little kids. And uh, it would certainly look awesome on anyone's coffee table, I think. So anyway, now the links uh, are in the video description to go to this particular engine and also to look at all the other Sterling engines that they've got. This cost $170 Australian, which is equivalent to 129 US, which I think is pretty good value. And when you consider how well it's made and... It's a beautiful thing, there's nothing cheap about it, the finish is superb, it runs beautifully, smoothly, yeah, it's awesome. Alright, well that's it for me, it's getting pretty hot down here in the shed, and uh, well, maybe I'll do another Stirling engine review down the track, we'll see what, uh, what comes about, so if anybody's got a suggestion on a motor, a little engine they'd like to see running, let me know and I'll see what I can arrange. Alright, well that's it for me. See you next time. Cheers.